you get the smells and then that like sets the anticipation for oh yes we've got chocolate cake coming or mom made something something you know it's just oh you can't beat the smells <laughs> yeah, i thought it was a homecoming thing for her no i was like what is this Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the vlog, you guys. We are glad you're here. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Hope your day is going swimmingly well. Um, today, <laughs> today, I don't know if it's the long weekend, all the time in the sun, or what it is, but I feel like life has just hit me square in the face and just knocked me out flat. Super, super tired. Um, so I've kept it pretty low key. I did get through the mountain of laundry from our vacation though. Holy cow. It filled my entire bed. It just was just a mountain of clothes, but they're all washed and folded and put away and I feel much better about that. For the after school snack today, I'm just gonna make some chocolate waffles. And you guys, these are so simple, you're gonna fall right over. I'm not even kidding, because they are just very, very simple. I learned this little technique, trick, hack, whatever you want to call it from a friend of mine years ago when we lived um, in the townhome. And she was she was just the, the homemaking goddess. I just looked up to her so, so much. And this is one of the tricks that she did. Um, all you need is a chocolate, you can use any flavor really, my family likes chocolate. Chocolate or whatever flavor, cake mix and a waffle iron. That's it. Seriously, that's all you need, and it's super good. Um, you can use this as a side or a dessert if you're like, if you need something kind of quick. Um, and also, you can just play with it and make it like an ice cream bar or add it to whatever you want. It's super, super yummy, and it's super simple, like I said. So, here's how you do it. First thing you need, you guys, is a Mickey waffle iron. <laughs> just kidding. You don't need a Mickey waffle iron. We just happen to have one because we are that family. You're welcome. Um, you get your waffle iron heating up while you make the cake mix. I have a devil's food or dark chocolate fudge cake mix. And you just follow the recipe on the back just for a normal cake. Another bonus to doing this is your house will smell like cake. So when your kids come home from school, they'll open the door and the first thing they smell is cake and they'll be like, oh, yay! So they'll get excited because they can smell it first. That's kind of the key to cooking at home, you guys, is you get the smells and then that like sets the anticipation for, oh yes, we've got chocolate cake coming or mom made something, something, you know. It's just, oh, you can't beat the smells but you can overfill a waffle iron. So, yeah, be careful you don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a mess. Yeah, be careful you don't overfill. <laughs> oh, it's not stopping, it's getting worse. Dang it. Oh well, it all comes with cooking, right you guys? You've gotta have at least one throw away before you have the good one. That's just how it is, that's just real life for you. It is just not stopping. It's not stopping. I gotta clean up a mess. Hold, please. Oh, it's a happy Mickey! And a lot of mess. But, ooh, it smells good. Okay, we've got more batter, more waffles to make. And now I know not to refill it too much, so that's good. We can keep him though. I just trimmed off the edge and he looks perfect. Oh, yummy. Okay, all done you guys. Now we have a plate full of chocolate Mickey deliciousness for when my kids get home. 
I'm gonna go pick Jack and Hallie up from school. Miley should be home momentarily. She might get here before I do. And uh, we'll get this afternoon going. It smells so good. Mm. Uh oh. Mickey lost an ear. <laughs> Whoa, focus please. There we go, okay. So, mother just came back from the store. <laughs> my mind spaced out for a second. And she got his ice cream. My favorite is strawberry. Those two are digging in at the not thawed yet vanilla. Look how and she made Mickey Mouse chocolate pod cakes. Or waffles. <laughs> These are waffles. Okay. So yay! Yay after school snack. <laughs> Welcome home from school, Mad Eye. Hello. There's chocolate Mickey waffles and ice cream for an after school snack. If you want to. No ice cream? Just chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's in heaven. Oh. Heaven, she's in heaven. That was crazy, cause it was a dishwasher box. I did not order dishwasher. And homecoming is coming soon, so I thought for sure it was gonna be I like somebody asking her. Times I'm not asked. But it was actually Jack's friend, I've because they had the big box, the and boys are like that. So that's rad. That was funny. We're doing math right now, and it's my favorite that thing sucks. of all times. All the times, huh? Mm -hmm. So you, yeah, you just need to justify how you did that and how you got your answer, and then we'll work on your daily five wordies. Mm good. -hmm. And chocolate waffles will help you think straight. <laughs> to go along with an easy after school snack, we are having an easy dinner. Spaghetti noodles with some spaghetti sauce. And garlic bread. Somebody's here. Who is it? Smiley. 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 Welcome. Just Hello. in time for dinner. Yay, is my spaghetti? Did you get all your homework done? Now I said a lot of spaghetti. Because I had like four classes of homework. I was in like one class. Oh wow. Yay, fun for you. Hey, but spaghetti will help everything go better, right? Okay. Also, I thought that English said it was only one article, but it turns out there's seven. You have to annotate all of them mm -hmm. and type out paragraphs on what the writer was trying to get across and why the writer wrote the way he did. So, huh. that's, that's fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. No. <laughs> all right, we've got dinner all done. Um, Dad's not home yet, so his is still on the stove, staying warm. But um, Miley took Jack and Maddie down to Grandma's to work on the yard and uh, another tr job that Maddie's doing for Grandma. And I am just here going over my case lot sale brochure as you guys. Case lot is in where we live. It's where you can buy canned goods by the case. And they're usually a lot cheaper than they would be normally. Um, for instance, this one has, uh, let's see. A 12, a 12 uh, case of peanut butter is $11.64 or 97 cents each. Um, so that's a good price on peanut butter. And they've got diced tomatoes, beans, all those things that you can put in your pantry that will stay for a while. Um, but there is a tw twist side of case lots, you guys. You can go and you can spend a ton of money on case lot and then get home and be like, I still need to buy milk and bread and eggs and 
butter and all of those other things that we need to, you know, eat. And then you spent your whole grocery fund on case lot. So you gotta be really careful. Um, the case lots that I like to do are the ones that you can either buy a case of them or you can buy them individually or however many you want, but it's the case sale price. So it would be 97 cents for the peanut butter regardless whether I got the 12 uh, count case or like just four of them. Does that make sense? And that way I can uh, get what I need and not take out my whole entire grocery budget because we have a certain amount of money for groceries every two weeks and and I have had times where I've gone to case lot and come home and been like oh crap we have nothing but canned goods <laughs> but I'm sitting here going over these things and I actually don't need a ton from the case lots but I do like the case lots I get very excited when they come on and they come on in the fall and in the spring. And usually there's like three different stores that are doing them and they usually, uh, one will do one and then another one will do one two weeks later. So they kind of, if I don't hit it the first week, then I've got time to hit it the second week, that kind of thing. So if you miss it the first time, just relax. It'll, con it'll come around again and you can hit it the next time. Um, but I'm gonna go through here and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I get on case lot. The kids are home. Why is Dad is Ten. home. Everybody's here. So that makes mommy happy. Look at it. <laughs> Din -din. <Good> Yay! <laughs> did you finish your job at Grandma's, Maddie? Grandma wasn't there, so she didn't. Oh, no. oh. oopsies. Run! You rolling in the dough, Duder? Yes. Disneyland money. Woo! Almost got a, you got a lightsaber and what else? A droid? Are you getting a droid? Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> Actually. <laughs> the wheels are turning in his head. <laughs> Actually, oh, and he's gone. All right, after looking over these ads, you guys, I have found some things. Um, I need some applesauce and um, some salt and a few other things. I'll get those things tomorrow. I'll take you guys with me. But this evening, you guys, our day is over. Jake and Miley went to drive her car because it's not working very well for some reason. And the kids are in bed. And we're watching Kung Fu Panda because Kung Fu Panda is super awesome. I love it. It's funny. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be the good, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you Bye guys. This is when we lived in California and all of the kids in Bye puppies. Melissa and Jason's <laughs> um, circle of